Hi guys, it's Sebastian with Looking, Feeling, Smelling Great. I'm back with another video for you today. Today's video is a SafferBond.com contributor video. Today we're going to go ahead and review the brand new close-up by Olfactive Studio. And if you stick around till the end of the video, we have a worldwide draw for a full bottle of close-up. So please stay tuned. So Close Up by Olfacta Studio is the 10th fragrance release from the niche brand out of France and uh, there was a crowdfunding done for this new fragrance. They wanted to change their bottle and they have a brand new bottle design with this 10th release of Close Up. So I was actually sent a lab sample of Close Up by Olfacta Studio from Michelin Kamen over at SouthBourbon.com and uh, she said got a really great new upcoming release from Olfacta Studio and I want you to review it for for us and I said sure let's go ahead and do it because I am after all a fan of Olfactive Studio I do like a few of their fragrances a lot like Chambre Noir and uh, Ombre Indigo are two of my favorites from the brand and I own full bottles of those and the fragrance is composed by the nose Anique Monardo this was another reason why I was excited about this fragrance because Anique Monardo is one of my favorite noses I've been following her for a long time and uh, she's been doing fragrances for quite some time now, I think since the 90s, and she's actually created or composed some of my favorite fragrances like Bois d'Argent by Dior and Bois d'Harmony by Guerlain. So this was really, really exciting stuff to get a whiff of this fragrance. And I love the name, and especially the fact that these fragrances from this house are all photography inspired. So Chambre Noir is basically dark room, and this is close up, and they've also had a fragrance called Panorama and Selfie, Still Life. And still life in Rio so there's uh, all like taking photography uh, terms and coming up with fragrances which I find very fun especially for the fact that I'm a big photographer I'm an amateur photographer and I've been photographing things since I was a, a little kid so I, this, this brand actually really attracts me so what we've got with close-up is at the top we've got Santos green coffee fresh spices and griot cherry in the middle notes we've got white tobacco patchouli Atlas Cedar, Centifola Rose, and in the base notes we've got Amber, Musk, and Tonka Bean. So what we get at the top with close-up from Olfactive Studio is this very very green coffee with lots of fresh spices. It's so fresh it makes it kind of like an aromatic style fragrance. And then you've got also this like slightly sour cherry note, kind of gives it more like an almost gourmandy edge to it, which it doesn't quite go there yet. But immediately we start getting some a little bit of tobacco-like note in here and the cedar kicks in and that cedar note is really really great in here and you, you get some hints of some rose but lots of uh, patchouli but it's not the kind of patchouli that's like head shop type patchouli it's just it's there but it's kind of subdued if the patchouli note was amped up more it would kind of not make this fragrance what it is which is the perfect balance of the, the middle notes and then in the base notes we've got this amber this is one of my favorite notes and we've also got the musk. Now this is really one of my favorite things about this fragrance because it gives the fragrance kind of like this warm and fuzzy kind of a vibe. Almost like you've got a little cat sitting on your, uh, like your lap and it's purring. It kind of gives it that kind of a vibe so it's got this like muskiness. But the fact that this musk is there, it's just, it's there but it's not like taken over. You can pick it up, it kind of makes it slight bit animalic but it's not going to be like the gross out kind of animalic. It's just there it's like trying to scream out but the other notes are kind of like toning it down that musk note in here just makes it really interesting just a unique combination of notes and I'm, I'm really happy with this release and this would definitely be my favorite release from the house of olfactive studio as I said at the beginning of the video there is a draw over at softwarebond.com there should be a link in the info box please click it it should take you there register to participate in the giveaway this is a worldwide giveaway so now's your chance to win a bottle if you've been following me and most of the draws have been the USA only but now's your chance if you're outside of the USA to participate in a giveaway so that you have a chance to win it. All you have to do is comment there, follow the instructions and in a few days they'll do the draw. Make sure to visit the website to see who's won and so forth. Alright guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this upcoming release of Olfactive Studios Close Up. Are you familiar with the brand? Do you have any of their fragrances? Have you been curious? do check this one out. It's a really, really great release. It's perfect for fall and winter. I'm really, really happy I got to review this brand new release from the brand and I can only wait to see what else they're going to come out with. And 
Anik Minardo, she's awesome. So she did a great release here for the brand. All right, guys, please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Like this video, please share it, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel also. There's a subscribe button at the top so that you don't miss out on the videos and giveaways. Thanks again. Have a good one. Goodbye.